Peace YouTube, what's going on? It's DJ Payne one and welcome to part 9 of the Promoting Your Music Online video series. Uh, today I just kind of want to have a common sense conversation um, with the artists and managers out there. Uh, I want to talk about building a buzz and ultimately releasing a project. Let me just start by saying this is what I've seen, unfortunately, from a lot of artists. You know, they spend all this time working on a music video or working on an album or a mixtape or an EP or an individual song, you know, a single. And the second it gets done, they're so excited to release it, they just put it out right away without planning, without telling anybody about it, without advertising, without leading up to it. That might happen at midnight on Thursday night and no one sees it until the next day. But by then, the visibility of that release is drastically reduced and then they have to work extra hard to get all the people who didn't see it to see it again and that gets frustrating you know we have to make it easy for our fans and potential fans to access our music we can't rely on them to do all the work you know the burden of getting our music out there falls on us as the artist so we have to do the best job we possibly can to do that now here are some points of advice there are no rules to uh, creating a successful release for a project and if there are, I'm certainly not the person to give them. But you can observe what others do, and you can test some stuff out and see what works, which is the experience I have. The rate of success you're gonna find is based on your existing fan base, the amount of work you put in, the consistency, the quality of the music, and of course, to an extent, the budget that you have. You know, you're not gonna do Dream Chasers numbers with a $10 budget. So here's my advice, take it or leave it. Um, before you start, have the project pretty much finished. If, if it's a mixtape, if it's an EP, have it pretty much finished. Because the worst thing that can happen is you release one song and then you want to follow it up with another song, but you don't have another song, so your momentum is lost. So let's say you're promoting a, a, an album, right? Uh, the album has 12 tracks on it. Pick two that you're going to release to lead into the final uh, release of the album. So what are we calling them now? These leaks. So pick two songs to leak prior to the album being released. Now rewind for a second um, because you have to figure out two things. One, through what outlet is the album and the songs being released, right? Is it a website? Now I have parts one through eight of promoting your music online that explain some of them explain how to build relationships with websites and blogs. So building that relationship is extremely important. I also have uh, advice on how to maximize your um, fan engagement. So do you have a lot of fans on social media? You know, And if you can't uh, find a, a blog or a website to present your music, are you going to do it all through your Facebook page, through your tw Twitter page, through your SoundCloud, through your YouTube? Either way, you're going to need a schedule right you're gonna need a schedule and you're gonna need to advertise and stick to that schedule you know if your release date is February 1st the two weeks to a month leading up to that February 1st release date you need to be advertising and releasing those songs and if you have a music video release the music video in addition to the song so that everybody is aware that this song and this music video and this song are all leading up to the final album's release so they're ready for it so they know okay february 1st i know that that's the date that this mixtape is coming out so i'm going to be ready to download it because if it just comes out and nobody knows how are they going to download it they get blindsided by it so pick the date and stick to it have the host you could be your own host but i suggest you know contacting someone and, and you know it's it, it takes money at times and you want to maximize your exposure but maybe you don't have thousands of dollars for a budget if you have hundreds of dollars for a budget there are ways to make it work you know you can buy a, a promotional package from that piff and it's you know a few hundred dollars um, and, and I would say that that does work it, it does have a, a impact on your your downloads and your views um, if you want some other ideas and you just have a smaller budget uh, I normally don't do this. Just just uh, send me a message on YouTube and I'll refer you to some people um, who, who might be able to help. Also, if you're going to release a song, don't just release a song. You need to have some type of information 
to accompany that release. You know, check out this new song. That's not descriptive. Check out the new song from DJ Pain One featuring I-20 and Chi Ali off of the upcoming Painkillers 50 mixtape hosted by Young Jack Thriller from ThisIs50.com, which will be released on February 1st, 2013. You know, that's a little more descriptive. And now people are aware that this is off of a larger project that's coming out on February 1st, 2013, and this is what they can expect in the future. Another thing that you should do is release some type of visual element, whether it's a cover to the, the song that you're releasing, um, whether it's the cover to the mixtape or album that the song is on that's going to be released in the future, or just a, a nice photo of you. But some kind of visual element should be there. You know, go to all the websites, go to hotnewhiphop.com, and every time a song is released, there's a photo to go with it. Either it's a, a photo of the artist, or it's a photo of the album that the song is off of, or it's a photo of you know el a song art, like single art. Um, also, lastly, when you're working with your social media outlets and you're releasing music through your social media outlets, don't just put stuff out there whenever. Pick a time and pick a day where your social media engagement is the highest. You know, if your demographic is young people, you know, high school, college age kids, would it be a good idea to put your song out on your social media site at 1 p.m. on a Wednesday? No, because they're in school. Your fan base is in school. They're not able to download it. They may not even see the post. What you want to do is check your Facebook analytics. You know, check, check your own posts and check your own tweets. When you get the most retweets, when you get the most likes, when you get the most comments, check the date, check the time. It might be Friday at 7 p.m., it might be Tuesday at 6 p.m. So if those are the best times for your fan engagement, then put your music out on those days and on those times. That makes sense. It's common sense, but it's the type of stuff that we don't necessarily always think of as creative people because we're so focused on getting the music out there. We're so excited for people to see our music video, for people to hear our mixtape. We like to think that the music's so good that it's just gonna get out there. The burden of, of spreading the music is on us. It's not on the fans. We have to make it easy for them. We have to give them reminders. My project is coming out on this date. Please check for it. I'm getting, uh, whoa, G-Chat is going crazy. So that's my advice. When you're releasing music, have a schedule, have a plan, stick to it and be consistent, and make your music easy for your fans to get. And make your music easy for your fans to access. Our fans and potential fans to do extra work just to get our music. We have to do extra work to get them our music and to make it easy for them to access and for them to download and for them to enjoy. So for more information on the social media stuff and the networking with blogs and promoting your music in other ways, Check out Promoting Your Music Online 1 through 8. This is part 9, part 10 is coming soon. Until then, much success to you. Peace.